Welcome everyone to a brand new series on my Advocate Great vlog here. It is now called Perception Specialist Kate. So for those of you who really know me, um, hopefully you're just as excited as I am about this. And one of the reasons why is because I'm actually a little nervous to introduce this new vlog mainly because there is room for a lot of judgment but you know I'm to a point where we all have our opinions and it doesn't make mine right or wrong likewise for you and not only that I really feel that the mentality I'm going to share with everyone is going to be fun and explorative and engaging so I'm really asking for participation if you watch these videos please participate in them or at least let me know what they're doing for you what you think about them um, with that being said let's go ahead and get right into it so the first one I wanted to discuss is going to be how um, how much of a construct time is and I mean straight down to yes the minutes and the seconds but even a, in a broader aspect than that is going to be the Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and such so what I would like you to do um, if you could just take a moment and really forget about time altogether I mean forget about what you have to do at 4 p.m. or on tomorrow or tomorrow which is going to be Thursday um, forget about that like what if Thursday wasn't Thursday and it was just day whatever of you being alive like what then what how do we live life when we neglect time when we forget its very existence when we stop measuring everything by this criteria, you know, I have to be here by this time. And does that not produce emotions within us to rush? Like how natural is it to rush when perhaps maybe we shouldn't be living by this timeline? Now I had this discussion with my son and I said, you know, let's for a moment consider that Monday through, through Sunday doesn't exist. You know, how would we live life then? What would happen? And of course, his response was one I was thinking, um, but it was, well, those days provide structure and organization. I get that. <laughs> I do. But how necessary is that structure and organization? And who is it really benefiting when we live, you know, for Friday? And I'm not saying I do, but people do, you know. Um, I mean, Friday's nice because then it's no school. So, yes, I do too. I don't like to think that I do, but I do. So, what happens when we remove the ideas of time, the ideas of days, um, and that structure? What ultimately happens to our lives? What if instead, and play pretend, I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm not, I'm asking you to play pretend. What would your life be like if there was no Monday through Sunday? What would it be like, you know, when I asked my son this, you know, would it be like, oh, two more wake ups and then I go to school? You know, how would we then measure time if we didn't do it with days? You know, I know that we already do it with the sun and the moon and we know when it's day and when it's night. But I mean, if we didn't have that structure in place, how do we then, how would we live? And more importantly, why aren't we living like that now? Who said, let's make a calendar and let's make it these days instead of this congruent life cycle that just progresses every day and every day is something new as it is. Essentially, what happens then when we start playing with what is actually actually natural, not in doctrine, but natural, what's real? Just out of curiosity. So leave down below in the comments for me some things that would change if you didn't look at it as I have to go to work in three days. I have to go back to work on Monday and it's Monday. What if we just woke up and it was a brand new day and we didn't know what day it was? 
Maybe we just knew that we were X amount of day old, days old. I don't know. You know, that's why I'm asking for everyone's opinion and ideas on this. If we got rid of the structure of time, such as clocks and weeks and months and days, Monday through Fridays, what would life be then? So what would life be like if we lived every moment in the now, not tomorrow, not in accordance with some timeline. And I, I know and I understand clocks um, have been around for a while. Calendars have been around for a while. But why? Why can't we just wake up every day thankful for that day? And I'm not saying we're not. I know that I am. Um, but why can't we live in a more expressive way instead of feeling so obligated to live in accordance to the day and what the day means or what the time means. Why are we not able to live more thoroughly in the now without a focus of time or day? Would we maybe then measure time with experience and feeling and aptitude in a sense? Would we then instead not measure the actual time but the moments? Like, the now, the feeling. Could we then measure time with experience? Let me know down in the comments if you have enjoyed this video and this conversation with Kate as a perception specialist. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. Thank you all so much for watching.